सर जैसे कि आप जानते हैं जो हल होते हैं वो तो हम सभी खाते हैं हाँ वो तो है सही लेकिन क्या कभी आपने सोचा नहीं कि जितने भी अलग अलग फल है जैसे कि आम है अंगूर है पाइन एप्पल है और दूसरे भी कई फल है तो ये सारे फल किस जगह से आते हैं या फिर इनकी जो ओरिजिन है जो शुरुआत है वो कहाँ से होगी कभी आपने सोचा है ये तो सोचने वाली बात है तो राजू भाई ये तो क्या बात हुई फल तो कोई भी जमीन में ना तो वो तो उग जाएगा फल तो फल ही होता है इसमें है क्या बात है सर मेरा मतलब है कहने का कि किस जगह से आया ये कभी सोचा ये बात किस जगह से आया ये तो कभी नहीं सोचा सर वो तो मार्केट में जाते हैं ठेले पे कोई भी फल पसंद आता वो ले खरीद के खा लेते हैं आपकी बात कहने के लिए सर सही है लेकिन आज हम देखने वाले हैं की कौन सा फल किस देश से आया है आज हम सोचते हैं कि सपोज करते हैं जैसे पाइन एप्पल पाइन एप्पल हम सोचते हैं कि हमारे यहाँ उगता है लेकिन वो उगा कहीं और था लेकिन उसके बीज वगैरह यहाँ पर आए इंडिया में आए फिर उसको बोया गया और फिर वो जाके फसल यहाँ को इस तरीके से सभी फलों का अपना एक इतिहास है आप इस वीडियो को देखिए और उसके बाद अपनी प्रतिक्रिया दीजिए तो बहुत जानकारी वाली चीज है सर तो ये तो लगाई जाए Fruits are pretty great. For early humans, they served as delicious, calorie-rich foods that could be easily collected and eaten without any preparation. It's even been suggested that the ability to distinguish between red and green was evolutionarily selected for so that we could find fruits and tell if they were ripe or not. Of course, today finding any fruit you want is as easy as going to the grocery store and finding the right aisle. Many of us might not even realize the fruits we eat might not come from the same country we live in or even the same continent. In fact, many of our favorite fruits originated. In entirely different landscapes and climates, oh, and today are grown oh, thousands of miles away from our grocery stores. So let's take a look at the geography of our fruits. Well, Starting us off, we have apples, which hail from the Central Asia region, around where the three countries of China, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan meet. Its wild ancestor, Malassezia versiae, is still found throughout this region, and China remains the number one world producer, accounting for 48% of the global apple production. The earliest records of apricots reach back to ancient Armenia. Its scientists. The scientific name is literally Prunus armenia. Whether it originated here is disputed, with some suggesting India and China, but its theoretical range includes all of these places. And today, Uzbekistan is the top producer. Avocados, sometimes called alligator pears, originated in South Central Mexico, specifically in Tehuacan Valley. Evidence shows locals have been eating the ancestors of avocados for up to 10,000 years, and to this day, Mexico remains the number one producer in the world. Bananas and plantains, which are technically berries. Got their beginnings in Indo-Malaya. The earliest record of their domestication likely comes from India, from up to ten thousand years ago as well. Despite this, India holds the title as a top producer. Vaccinium occur all around the North Pole, but the ones we eat today come from North America, mostly the north and eastern parts of the United States and South Central Canada. So it's no surprise that the United States needs global production, with Canada coming in second. Okay, so cantaloupes are named after the town Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe de Sabina in Italy. Where cantaloupes definitely did not originate from, but cantaloupe literally translates to howling wolf, and I just think that's cool. As for where they came from, no one really seems to know. Some say Persia, some say Afghanistan, and others say Armenia. Roughly, this area is agreed upon, though. But today, it's China that produces 51% of all cantaloupes. Cherries, on the other hand, are native to Italy and all of Central Europe, for that matter. Funnily enough, the name cherry comes from outside of Europe, from the Norman cherries, from the Latin cherries, from the ancient Greek region. Kerasus, located in Turkey, where cherries were first imported into Europe from, and where they still do, as Turkey remains the number one producer of sweet cherries in the world. Clementines were a fairly new fruit, which arose as a hybrid between a mandarin orange and a sweet orange in the late 1800s. This spontaneous cross was actually a miracle that literally happened in the garden of an orphanage in the city of Mesergen, Algeria. The orphanage was headed by a French man named Marie Clement Rodier, which is where the name Clementine comes from. China again. Is the leading world producer today. Coconuts occur in China number one by the coastal regions. Since they float in water, they are easily and quickly dispersed across the oceans. Their huge range means they were actually domesticated on two entirely separate occasions: once in the Indian Ocean in Sri Lanka and the Maldives, and once in the Pacific in the Philippines and Indonesia. Today, Indonesia is still the greatest producer. The first people to harvest cranberries were Native Americans. Tribes like the Indians would use them both as food and dyes in the New England region, and recipes for 
for cranberry sauce were seen in Pilgrim cookbooks as early as 1663, so it's no surprise that the U.S. remains the top producer. Dates are some of the oldest cultivated <laughs> fruits <laughs> in the world, first found in the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt, thought to have originated in Iraq around 50 million years ago, while the earliest no. evidence of cultivation comes from an archaeological site in Pakistan <laughs> from around 7000 BCE. Today, whoa, Egypt is whoa. the world's biggest producer. The fig has much the same range as the date palm, but is even older, with evidence of its cultivation and consumption reaching back 11,000 years, predating wheat and rye. Findings in the ancient village of Gilgal in the Jordan Valley placed the domestication of figs around 9400 BCE, suggesting figs may have been the very first example of humans practicing agriculture 1000 years before the next crops were cultivated. Their biggest producer today, Turkey, isn't too far away either. Turkey number fruits, which are gross and don't taste anything like grapes, actually came from another cross between two citrus fruits, this time the Jamaican sweet orange and the Indonesian pomelo. The cross occurred on the island of Barbados in the Caribbean and were originally called Despite its origin on the tropical island, however, today, once again, China is the number one producer, accounting for 48% of all production. <laughs> Jeez, China. China is the do taste good and come from the Middle East, where human agriculture first got started. The growing of grapes also led to the domestication of yeast, which very quickly led to the discovery and subsequent abuse of alcohol. It's actually unclear what came first, the domestication of grapes or the craft of winemaking. But both occurred around 10,000 years ago in Georgia and Armenia. I'm <laughs> Is the overall leader in grape production, but in terms of grapes used especially for wine, Spain leads the world. Guavas are a lesser known fruit, but they're pretty amazing, so I decided to include them. They originally come from Our southern Mexico and the rest of Central America. America. Papayas have about the same exact range as well, but today, India leads the way in production oh, oh, oh. of both of these fruits. Honeydew is delicious, and anyone who thinks differently can fight me in the comment section. Particularly Algeria, but yeah, China is now the top producer. This one might hurt a little, but kiwis are from China, not New Zealand. Specifically, from around the Yangtze River Valley. They weren't cultivated in China, however, and it was only in the 20th century that kiwis were brought to New Zealand and eventually became a commercial crop there. Then, these were exported to the US and UK, and that's why they're associated with New Zealand. Since then, however, who else but China came in and now contributes 55% of the worldwide production, followed by Italy and then New Zealand. The kumquat, if you don't know, looks like an orange, but is about the size of an olive. Like so many other fruits, they come from the Southeast Asian region. Lemons are also thought to have here, but more specifically in the state of Assam in eastern India, and these are actually oh, also hybrid between the two older fruits, the bitter orange and the citron, both of which originated around this area as well. And to this day, India the world limes, well, are mostly the same, but actually no one can really agree on what a lime is. There are several different things people call limes, which are of citron, mandarin oranges, and pomelo, all of which come from Southeast Asia. And so does the mango, for that matter. Olives got their start, of course, in Italy, but quickly spread throughout the Mediterranean region. As early as 5,000 years ago, olives were being grown commercially on the Greek island of Crete. But today, Spain is the biggest commercial supplier. Passion fruit is a weird name, but they're the first fruit I've mentioned exclusively from South America, originating from southern Brazil through Paraguay into northern Argentina. Again, come from northwest China, between the Tarim Basin and the Kunlun Mountains. And wow, no way, China also produces 58% of the world's peaches. The pear originated nearby in western China, in the foothills of the Tian Shan Mountains, pretty close to where apples formed, if you remember. And yeah, China produces the most of these, too. Pineapples are thought to have started China in Southern Brazil and Paraguay, just like the passion fruit, nice. except way better. Uh, Costa Rica actually leads the world in pineapple production, so good for them, honestly. Plums were also one of the earliest <laughs> domesticated <laughs> fruits, originating in Eastern Europe and the Caucasus Mountains. But today, China is <laughs> 55% of the world plum production. Pomegranates originally came from Iran, and they're the only <laughs> fruit I found with an entire symbolism section on its Wikipedia page, so it's safe to say it was <laughs> pretty important <laughs> to many <laughs> <civilizations>. <laughs> today, Iran <laughs> remains the number one producer of pomegranates. Raspberries are hard to pin down. They propagated throughout Europe very quickly, but yes, it's so they they somewhere in Turkey. Despite this, today, Russia is the biggest producer. The modern strawberry yeah. is another example of a recent hybrid crossing between the North American Fregaria virginiana and the Chilean Fregaria virginiana. The first crossed in Brittany, France in the 1750s, although today the US is the greatest producer of them. Tomatoes are definitely fruits, and despite being closely associated with Italian foods like pasta and pizza, they come from thousands of miles away in the Andes Mountains. There are many myths about how the tomato got to Europe. Some 
suggest it was Columbus who first took them back across the Atlantic. Others say it was Hernan Cortez. And then there's another story about two Spanish Jesuits in Mexico, but basically there's no consensus. China wins again in terms of production, however, with 31% of the world production. Lastly, oh. we have watermelon, which started off looking like this in East Africa, right around Ethiopia. <laughs> then, 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians began cultivating the fruit, altering it until we got what we now know as watermelon. But unsurprisingly, China today accounts for 68% of worldwide watermelon production. That's all the fruits I'm going to include. I tried to get the most popular ones, but I definitely left out some of the more regionally important ones. I think the biggest takeaways would be that Southeast Asia and the Middle East in particular are where a lot of our favorite fruits originated, while the greatest producer of fruits today is by far China. Why so many delicious fruits came from these areas is a topic for another video, however, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you'd like to see more of the fruits to where our spices came from, well, give this video a like and maybe comment telling me what you'd like to see. To make sure you don't miss out on another video, hey, you can subscribe if you want. I'll be back next week with another video. Thanks for watching. वो फल तो ठीक है कहाँ के थे वो तो छोड़ा मगर बहुत से फल ऐसे थे जो मैंने कभी देखे ही नहीं है क्या है कि बहुत सारे फल ऐसे थे कि यहाँ पे हम यूं ही उठा के खा लेते हैं बाकी आज जाके पता चला कि कोई फल अमेरिका से आया कोई चाइना से आया कोई अफ्रीका से आया जने कहा खा के फल है हम तो यूं ही समझते थे कि यहाँ पे है तो उठा के खा लेते थे आज जाके मालूम पड़ा है उस फल की कदर आज मालूम पड़ी है कि इतने दूर दूर के इतने विदेशों के फल हमारे को यहाँ खाने को मिलते है और हमारे यहाँ फल मिल नहीं पाते पहली बात तो है राजू के कुछ फल तो है अपना औकात समझता था फरे फाल के हो जैसे पपी था और दूसरी बात तो है कि दो फल से एक फल मिलके बनाया है वो तो मैं सोचा ही नहीं कभी दो फल से मिलके एक फल कैसे बनाया होगा यार तो फल जी है इंसान को खाते रहना चाहिए और इसी बात पे सर्व है आप बस सर अब वीडियो तो भाई खत्म हम दो का गाना सुनिए आप तिरछी को पीवा ले बाबू भोले भाले तू याद आने लगा है दिल मेरा जाने लगा है तिरछी टोपी वाले बाबू भोले भाले तू याद आने लगा है दिल मेरा जाने लगा है